All right, guys, if you've been watching some of my other videos, you know I am basically doing my shredding of 47. I posted a couple videos over my workouts, the type of workout structure I'm following. I also wanted to tell you how I'm eating. And then one of my cool little secrets that I'm utilizing, I'm not a good cook. I love food, but I'm not a good cook. All right, when you're trying to get shredded, you need to avoid all fast foods, all processed foods. Even good restaurants, man. A lot of the times what I typically tell people, if you're trying to just stay lean, you're trying to maintain your results, all those things, it's okay to eat out. Just take the better options from the menu and choose the better options. However, when your goal is to get shredded, even that can be difficult because even those good steaks, man, they're grilled in butter or they put some type of oil on them. There's a lot of things that go on to those foods as far as toppings or even marinades that actually add more calorie. So I'm trying to avoid all of that. So what I do when I'm trying to get beyond the lean point, because lean and shredded are two different things. Being shredded is something all different. It's on another level, all right, from being lean. So basically, all of that being said, I just wanted to show you some of the foods that I do because I still like to eat good food. I like to eat good food, but I like to know that someone else other than me is making the food. Chefs, in this case, all right? And there are a lot of done for you meal companies. Here's the thing, I've been doing this for a long time. These guys have been around for a long time. Not just these in particular, but people that prep meals for you. One of the companies I use, I used for a while, and I was using it while I was trying to get leaner, relying on the accuracy of their macros, okay? My wife and I actually ordered some turkey chili one time. Turkey chili, macros identical, everything's the same, yet after we took our tops off and opened them up, we realized one had twice as much as the other. You can visually see the difference. It wasn't even close to being the same macros. So much so that I ordered more just to see because I wanted to weigh it. I wanted to make sure it wasn't just my eyes playing tricks on me. Even though one had like twice as much as the other, I needed to verify that to be the case. So, ordered more meals, ordered that exact same, that exact same turkey chili meal as well. And what I realized is the weights were completely off. All right, they weren't nowhere near the same, yet they listed on their macro sheet that it's exactly the same. Same protein, carbs, fats. They were identical, yet Anyone knows that's not identical if you're looking at the two, especially going off of the actual weights. So I eliminated that co company. Also, another time I went with another company and tried their foods, something in their food, man. Every time I would eat it, I would get sick. I had to go straight to the restroom, so I couldn't really function properly. So I completely went away from any type of meal prep companies until recently, all right? A few months ago, actually, uh, I reached out to another company. I tried some of their meals and they all tasted amazing. So they've got a ton of different meals. Probably, I'm thinking over 25 meals. I'm more of a picky eater, so I actually limit mine to about 10 meals and just do several of those 10. But the cool thing about this is when you're meal prepping, like I do when I'm trying to get lean, when I'm trying to get shredded, meal prepping, you want to know exactly what you're putting in your body. You want to make sure that the macros are accurate. You also want a variety of meals. You don't want to eat the same thing over and over. That's the thing about old school meal prepping. Chicken, rice, broccoli. Chicken, rice, broccoli. That's every, everybody's go-to, everybody's staple, the same thing over and over again. You're missing out on a lot of micronutrients when you do that. You're actually making it very hard on you because you're gonna start craving all types of crap, man. Also, the more you eat the same type of food, you can build up little allergies to those foods. Then it's hard to eat it because every time you eat it, you're gonna feel sick or you're just not gonna function properly, all right? So one of the best ways to avoid that is meal prep. Like normal, I do different meats. I do my chicken, turkey. I'm a big red meat guy, so I do a lot of lean beef. I like that more so than fish, but I'll do that with all of my grilling on Sundays. I'll grill all those different proteins and then I'll do rice, potatoes. I'm a jasmine rice guy. Potatoes, there's quinoa, there's beans, lentils. You can get some good complex carbohydrates and then veggies are gonna be free, all right? But at the end of the day, think about it. If you have to eat that all day, every day, several times a day for the next eight, 12, up to 20 weeks, it's gonna get old, it's gonna get redundant. Your body's gonna start craving 
all kinds of crap. And if you deprive it from that food that you're craving, you're gonna be hangry, you're gonna be miserable. All right, so what I do to avoid that is, let's see what they sent actually. There's different meals in here, Flex Pro Meal is who I use. And I will actually put a link in here. Mama Mia meatballs. So let's see what I got. Couple of those, like I said, I got 20 different meals. Let me just pull all these out for you guys just to kind of see. And I've tested these macros. I've eaten these for a while. Like I said, a few months now, just to make sure everything agrees with me. Because a lot of times if you're not using fresh ingredients, if you're still using processed crap, which is what I completely preach against, not TV dinners. Don't go to your grocery store and get TV dinners. I will never recommend that. There's so many toxins and chemicals in the TV dinners. A lot of estrogens also. Here's the thing about eating stuff with estrogenic properties is estrogen, testosterone compete against each other. As a guy, you want higher testosterone levels. If you're getting more estrogen levels, your test levels are naturally going down. That's the last thing you want to do if you're a dude, man. So let me just keep getting all these out. There's a lot of stuff here. Probably should have taken these out already. That way you don't have to see me pulling everything out. Wow, I'm actually excited. I'm excited to see all these meals. All right. And yeah, they're packed in three big old ice things here, ice packs to keep it fresh. But again, all great drunken fish. Yeah, I like. Like I said, not a huge seafood guy. If I can get seafood from someone that knows how to make it, then I like it. I don't know how to cook fish, so I really don't like it when I cook it, which is a, another benefit of going with some chef that knows how to make it. Drunken fish, lean muscle meals, backyard barbecue. Power treats. Hopefully I got a couple of those, man. I love their little, power treats are like little protein balls, little energy bites, really good. Skinny fajita skillet. Another backyard barbecue, Mamma Mia meatballs. Again, there are so many options. You can check out the website, flexpromills.com. I'll also link it in the description. And uh, keto Mongolian beef, yum. This is what I choose. I'm not a huge variety guy. You'll notice, you know, I'm saying the same names over and over, but again, they've got over 25 different types of meals you can choose from. Again, power treats, yes. Thought there was a couple of those in there. Sesame chicken, another drunken fish, another Mamma Mia. So, man, I'm like loaded. I got stuff all over the place. I don't even know what I want to start with. So again, the macros can fit whatever plan you want to do. They even have muscle meals. If you're trying to build and you want some higher calorie meals, they have higher calorie meals as well. But the two things I really wanted you to get out of this video, one is the taste is amazing. Coming from someone that's been doing this a long time, tried a lot of different companies. The taste is good. It doesn't mess with my stomach, meaning there's not a lot of chemicals. It's not a, nothing in here that's gonna be bad for you. Two is the portions are all the same. They're pretty much all identical. So when you see the macros, which is what they put on these, on the box here, on the label here, they list actual macros. When you see that, you know they're consistent. You can just visually see. You can weigh them yourself to see that the macros are gonna be consistent. Those are huge if you're trying to get lean, if you're trying to get shredded, if you're stuck in a plateau and you've been dieting and sticking to a strict nutrition habit and you're not getting anywhere, then guess what? You may be consuming something that has the wrong macro content. It may have more calories than it says it has. So if you're going off of somebody that's not being truthful, uh, a product that's not being truthful, then you're gonna be getting more calories than you need to be getting. All right, man, so again, I just want you to see all the options. A lot of food, tons of food, really good. If you wanna try it, I'll actually give you a, a prep 20. I'll put that in there as well. Discount code, you get 20% off to try it. If you like it, let me know. Also, if you order it, let me know that you're ordering it. Cause I'm, I'm curious, man. I'm curious to see what food you get. Let me know what order you place and maybe you find something that you like. I'm real picky, so there's a huge menu. I just kind of stick to the same things I know I'm gonna like. If you like something, you try it, it tastes amazing. 
Come back, put a comment on this video. I'm gonna be checking those and maybe something else I'll have to try next month. But other than that, I hope this helps you out because at the end of the day, when you're prepping, when you're getting leaner, when you're getting shredded, you need all the help you can get. Even me, somebody that's been doing this over 30 years, all right? I've been working out for a long time, done a lot of bodybuilding shows. I get tired of the monotony, the same foods over and over again. And I don't wanna go out to eat because again, all the processed crap, all the chemicals that goes into those foods that they're making out there. And I don't wanna try these. I've got some elaborate recipe books. I've created my own recipe book. Here's the thing. Dude, I put a lot of that stuff together and it still doesn't come out right. My chicken's dry, my steak is overcooked. I'm not a great cook, but I do like food. I like flavor. So again, these chefs know what they're doing. I hope you like it. Again, comment and let me know if you like this video. And other than that, man, that's all I got. Get busy, get after it. God bless.